Okay, buckle in, get a snack, grab some coffee because this one is a doozy. Hi friends, my name is Maria and I have a super, super big haul. If you guys watched my video like two videos ago and I had giant trash bags, I have like two plus a smaller one plus a smaller one. So we're in for the long haul today. I hope you stick around with me for that. But my favorite like honey hole local thrift store every once in a while does dollar days and I posted them here on this channel. I saw that the store was doing a 50-50 sale, which means all of their clothing items were 50 cents each. 50 cents. <laughs> and yes, that did exclude formal wear, so like gowns and stuff, but that is okay. I didn't even have time to go there. And everything else in the store was 50% off. So I do have an entire bag of shoes and I didn't really have time to go through the hard goods. It is a small store, but I needed to get home. It was a Saturday morning, which I'm usually spending with my family. So I wanted to get back to my kiddos. Let's not waste any more time because I have so many things to go through and I want to show you guys. So I'm going to start with the clothing and then midway through, we'll probably go through the shoes and then back to the clothing. So just remember all of the clothing was 50 cents and when we get to the shoes, I'll tell you what they were marked at so you can see like the 50% off what I actually got. I also have some personal use stuff mixed in a little bit here. So I will let you guys know when I get to those and just show you those super, super quick. Okay, the first thing I found is a brand to look out for. I was not familiar with it. That is Selkie. The tag looked really, really nice. It is just tacked on here at the top and it had this really cool graphic. It's also so soft and comfy. I'm gonna move over so I can show you guys the clothes better as we go. Um, it is so soft and comfortable and I lied, of course. I'm starting with an item that wasn't even 50 cents, so I'm sorry for that. This store also does consignment and it's marked with a different type of tag and when the consignment expires, they'll put them on the floor. So this one was not 50 cents. This was the most expensive expensive item that I bought the entire day. It was consignment for $15 and then I got it for $7.50, I think, unless it was $30 and then I bought it for $15. I might need to double check the receipt. I would have bought it anyway, just to be fair, um, because it looks like this might sell between like $50 and $75 when I'm looking at comps with this exact design. I did look them up in the store. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Selkie, it looks like it might do pretty well. Okay, let's get back into the things that are 50 cents. First of all, with this really cool vintage. Oh my gosh, look at this Winnie the Pooh. This is a romper like adult size jumper romper thing. I recognize this tag because my sister and I had this in like the 90s for like our kids clothes. So this is a women's size 18, which is absolutely amazing. Obviously this will probably sell in summer, but it's got Winnie the Pooh and a flower and a bumblebee. It's got the little poo tag right there. I mean, for 50 cents, I have another vintage tag, this tag, listed right now with something that for like $75 on eBay. It hasn't sold yet, but it's got some good attention. Okay, a lot of what I picked up today were bread and butter brands, so just be aware of that. I do like this store for bread and bread and butter brands. So this is Talbot's, just a really nice classic leopard print skirt. It was dry cleaned, so that's nice. And this is the Talbot's tag. This is a size 18W. Plus size Talbot's always does really well for me. But just to show you in like comparison, this store, this was marked at like $4.50 anyway. So even not on sale or just a 50% off sale, this store is really, really good to shop at. Okay, I did find a pair of Torrid jeans. I like that these are the button fly. I have a hard time with Torrid jeans, actually. I like selling Torrid tops and dresses, but at 50 cents, I'm not gonna leave them behind. These aren't 18, are, they have some distressing and a raw bottom hem. I need to try to get a lot of this listed quickly, so we will see how that goes. I also have a bins haul filmed for you guys. Well, I have the bins thrift with me filmed and I need to film a haul and I'll have all those videos for you, but I have all that stuff to go through as well. But this is another Talbot's piece. This is Talbot's Petite, size 10, but this is 45% wool. So very, very nice. When I got there, the store opened at nine o'clock and 
I got there because I was actually helping my husband get our kids off to swim school that morning. And so I got there at like 9.15ish. So I missed the 15 minute rush and I could tell there were other resellers there. It's not a very big store and all of the carts were gone. So I was just like frantically trying to see what I could do. Um, but I think they really picked through the menswear stuff. So you'll see I don't have that much menswear. Um, these are for my daughter, but they're so cute. These are just little Eddie Bauer compression shorts for next summer. This is also for her, a little Cat and Jack shirt, but like at 50 cents for my kids. I'm gonna wrap them up and throw them into her Christmas present actually. Um, this is an Express Blazer size eight. I do like selling blazers in mall brands because they usually sell pretty well and it's just a really nice, classic black style. So I can usually always sell those over 25, usually in the $30 range for Banana Republic, Talbots, Express, brands like that. Okay, this was one more pair of consignment that I picked up. Um, this was $7, so I did get this for $3.50 because that wasn't marked down. That was 50% off. And guys, these are vintage wool plaid flannel stirrup pants omg i looked these up just to make sure i wasn't missing that like these could sell well and i think they will so here's just the vintage tag the brand didn't mean anything to me um i'm sorry these are not wool i didn't i didn't say that correctly but they are made in usa these are vintage size five six and i tried these on and these fit me like a glove they are super high-waisted and I'm definitely gonna wear these to work a couple times before um, I sell them because I'm like a size zero, two, four, depending on the brand, and these fit me beautifully. So I'll have to note that in the listing and obviously I always post measurements. All right, here's another one for my kid. This is gonna be for my son in a couple years, but look at the little Toy Story pajamas. That's a 3T and he turns two in March, so maybe for next summer. I also got myself a little this is Abercrombie, just like cropped tank top. We are planning to go to Disney this summer. I just started planning it, and I'm always looking for things that either I'll be able to wear, my kids will be able to wear. So some of this, I think they will be able to wear, just like this one. I'll show you one more real quick. This is a little Rapunzel, um, Rapunzel? Yeah, with the little frog. Um, pajamas for her to take on that trip. Okay, more 50 cent stuff to resell, not for my kids. Look how pretty this print is. I absolutely loved this. It's almost like a watercolor print with these bright colors. But this is Lauren Ralph Lauren in a size 3X. Again, this is another brand that is kind of mature and I see it selling best in the larger sizes. It will sell for me in the smaller sizes too though, for sure. All right, another one I need to get listed quickly while it is still cold outside. This is Talbot, size extra large. And this is a super pretty, like, just open front cardigan. I think this one was a wool blend, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, this is 30% lamb's wool. Really pretty color, would be perfect for the holidays. I don't know if I'll have it listed in time. Oh, that's just a fuzzy. I thought I saw flaw, the, the terrible, oh no, what did I miss? But just a fuzzy. Okay, this one is for me. It's just the limited size small, but it's a nice black, um, like silky shirt. And I've been wearing more and more professional wear to the office recently with um, a kind of job transition I just had. This, I think, will probably look perfect with this, which I'm excited about. But I needed more like basics to mix and match, like the capsule wardrobe, quiet luxury type style, and this will be good. All right, I don't tend to pick up too much Champion, but I, I've i been meaning to experiment more with it, and at 50 cents, it's a great time to experiment. This is just a women's um, crew neck sweatshirt, but I love the like holographic almost logo right there, and this is one of my favorite colors. So I couldn't leave it behind. It is a size medium. This one is another one that would be great for this time of year if I can let, get it listed quickly. It is a beautiful, like, jacket, coat, blazer jacket, cardigan, like one of those in-between type things. And this was an alpaca wool blend, and it is made in Peru. So I wasn't familiar with this specific 
tag beyond threads but with that type of material content at 50 cents i'm not going to leave that behind i mean this is way cheaper than even bins prices because this is kind of a heavier item so it would probably be over two dollars at the bins and i got it for 50 cents this is a size large i do list all items in all seasons but i'm going to try to prioritize the, the wintery type one since we are in winter okay so when i first got there i was kind of a little disappointed i got there 15 minutes late and thinking that i missed all the good stuff because i saw people with carts super full and again it's not a very big store so i was worried but as i was going through the women's dresses which just is on like one small rack i found something and i was like see they don't know everything. They don't know everything because I found this and I was thrilled. This is Nation LTD, which is a really great tag to look out for. And I've been looking out for it, but I have never, ever found it. So this is a size small. It is ironically also made in Peru. And this is a full length maxi dress. So it's got a tiered kind of twirl style bottom. And I didn't realize this until I got home, but this had a real, real tag on it. So either somebody bought it from the real reel and then never wore it and took the tag off, or maybe they got it sent back from the real reel. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to finally have a Nation LTD and for something this substantial. Plus, if it takes me a little bit to list, that's okay because it looks like it would be good for like spring, summer, fall. All right, this is a really fun J. Crew skirt. It's got this fun like pleating gingham blue and white check pattern. It is a nice size. It is a size 12 J. Crew main label, not factory. It zips on the side. But again, yeah, like this was $4.50 just on a normal day. I don't know. I didn't check when this was made because I was going to get it anyway at 50 cents for J. Crew. <clears throat> but I'm always curious. This was spring of 2023, guys. <laughs> OMG, spring, I'm not sure if you can see that, I'm sorry. So this was from this year, and somebody already was like, meh, I don't want it. <laughs> All right, another fun Disney find. This is the Disney store. I don't know if it is vintage, but it is definitely old. Most of the Disney stores have closed by now anyway. I think it's kind of getting washed out. But look at this graphic. As you can see, it is Mickey and da Donald and Goofy. Mickey and Donald and Goofy. But how cute, just a little crew neck. Again, I hope I get this listed quick. Hopefully I'm gonna start like typing these into my inventory tonight. So I haven't done all my comps yet, specifically as I type them into my inventory to get them listed. I've just looked up some quickly. Um, but yeah, I really need to get going on these. Okay, here's a nice, just kind of classic career pencil skirt. And this is again Talbots. And yes, this is absolutely an older brand Talbots. But for these really like timeless styles and cuts, I am not really detracted by the older Talbots tags. I think some of the Talbots people are just looking for the material and the style and the fact that it's Talbots and don't really care but yeah this is made in usa tablet it is a size eight and this is a wool blend skirt so nice classic style there <clears throat> yeah i found a lot of tablets i didn't find i think i only found the one toward piece i don't think i found any j jill i think i might have maybe one chico's but tablets was definitely a hitter today this is tablets woman size 22 w in this kind of like that leopard print skirt it's just a nice knee length like denim, but like soft and stretchy. So denim blend skirt. There's more of that. Oh, that's probably the same fuzzy I threw before. And <laughs> it probably landed there. Okay, here's another one for my little son. This will be for this Christmas. He'll be able to wear that maybe on Christmas or something like that. Little peanuts shirt. And then this one I got thinking that maybe my husband will wear it to Disney. I'm not going to do like super themed family outfits, but I want to be a little bit festive. And I thought this was festive enough while not screaming like craziness, but it's a Sorcerer's Apprentice thing. And it's so soft. It's a Disney collab with Uniqlo which I thought was interesting. So he said he'd wear it at the parks, but I know he's not gonna wear it like just in his normal life. So I'll probably list that once he's done with it. Cause I feel like there's probably value there. I like selling Uniqlo, I like selling Disney. So 
seems like a match made in heaven of some sort. All right, these are really, really thick and warm and substantial. These are Original Fit Relaxed LL Bean Pants. I think these are women's. 20 petite. Yeah, I don't think they list men's sizes as petites. Um, but just a really nice pair of khakis. These feel like almost brand new. Like they were folded and put away in a closet. And then that's it. Because I think that's probably an older LL Bean tag, I would think. Mm. It is like stretchy here on the side, which is nice to give you a little bit of flexibility to either go up or down in size if you need to. All right, here's one of the few men's pieces I found, but actually I found it in the men's and I was like, these are women's. And I got home and I was like, these are men's. The store knew what they were talking about. So these are Calvin Klein and they are size 34 by 32, which is definitely a men's size. I just held them up and was like, oh, some women's career pants. But these are like a micro pinstripe just kind of classic pants. I do like selling Cal I do like selling Calvin Klein, although I have done better with women's Calvin Klein. So let me know what you guys think. I was actually excited these were women's, then I got home and saw they were men's, and I was like, eh. But I certainly would have bought them for 50 cents anyway. I'm just curious to see how those will perform. All right, this was an experiment one for me. I have not picked up Maggie London before, but I feel like maybe I should have. So I'm gonna try this out. This is a women's size 12. And again, this is a super substantial, beautiful, one of my favorite colors. This was my wedding color, actually. Tiered maxi length dress. And it's super, super silky. I don't think it is actually silk, but no, 100% polyester, very substantial. We will see how that does. Again, would be pretty for like spring or like an Easter dress would be a really great tag to put on that one. Another one for baby boy for the summer, just a little set of dinosaur pajamas for 50 cents. I mean, come on, he grows out of everything so quick. I know all parents say that about their kids and it's very true. Okay, this is another one that maybe I should have picked up and maybe I shouldn't. I have a couple Entro, not etro, entro pieces listed. And they haven't sold, but they keep getting attention. So maybe I have the wrong pieces. This just looked like a really, really pretty one. It's a sweater dress that has a really deep plunge with like a fitted bottom and these like fun balloon sleeves. So again, if I can get this listed for somebody to wear for Christmas or a holiday party, that will be fantastic. I'm just gonna have to like super hurry. I should have been making a pile of things that I want to get listed like ASAP. Maybe I'm going to start doing that now, but I'm surrounded by clothes, so I have to find a new spot to put things in. Here's another beautiful one, and this is a brand that I slept on for a while. It's Cache, which I think is maybe just like a higher-end department store brand. So I haven't sold anything from them yet. I think I only have one thing listed. But being, again, a nice, beautiful blazer would also be great for the holiday season, and this is 55% linen. Definitely grabbed that. This was also at the beginning. Blazers was one of the first things I went through and I thought, man, there's probably nothing left in this whole store. The guys probably took it all. I was trying to grab anything that I could, but I am glad that I grabbed that. Okay, that was bag one of four and that was one of the two big bags of clothes. So let's go ahead and do the shoes. They have usually not tons of shoes and they're in rough shape but they had like bins of shoes out this time that i was able to grab quite a few from a lot of them are like more summery but that's okay because i'm backlogged on inventory right now anyway um so the first one are these really really pretty like cage steve maddens these are in fantastic condition too so you can just see from the normal tag this was only 450 kind of on a normal day so i got these for 50 percent off of that price next are a really classic pair of sam edelman which i do like to sell these were eight dollars so i paid four dollars for these these are leather yes they are no i'm sorry these are faux those are not leather i didn't check these these ones are leather I knew one of them was leather. Oh, here's my receipt. Okay, so that selkie pink sweatshirt, which was the very beginning, it was the $15 price and then I got 50% off of that. So that was $7.50, but look at my receipt, guys. 
Look, so you can see all of the 50 cents. My goodness. Deal of the century. Okay, next I got these BOC Born. I do pass on BOC quite a bit, which is a diffusion line of Born. Born I will grab at a good price like every single time. But since these were only 250 plus they were 50% off of that, I definitely decided to grab those. They'll be great kind of when spring and summer rolls around as will these. I grabbed these first thinking they were like Merrill or Keen. They kind of had that look to them. These are actually Clark's. They are Prevo by Clark's and they're in great condition. So I grabbed these, not much wear on the bottom. These were 450 plus the 50% off. Another pair of Clark's are these kind of like Chukka style. These are women's and they were clearly 1490 at another thrift store somewhere along the way in their life cycle. But yeah, these are also Clark's and these are a size six medium. I did try them on to see if I could wear them and they're just a little bit too small for me. How much were these? These were $5, so they were $2.50 for me. Next, I just grabbed these pair of Skechers. They reminded me of Rothy's, so I thought maybe that would like attract some buyers that want to have like that Rothy look or feel without the price tag. But these are Skechers Memory Foam size 8.5 and these were 450 plus the discount i also thought i know it's not halloween but like these would be great for like dorothy shoes okay these ones i need to investigate because i'm not sure if they are men's or women's but look how cool these are these are zara and they're zara basics that's an older label from them they're not producing anymore but they're a size 38 made in portugal and I got to look into like the fabric content. There is, I'm actually noticing like right this second, a little bit of peeling right here, but you can't see that when they're being worn. It's just on the inside, but like so cool, navy blue. All right, another pair of Steve Madden's also in fantastic condition. These are one of the first ones I found. More of these like gladiator style, cage style block heel shoes and there's this like a velvet texture which is really soft and it's I'm not sure if it's coming off it's kind of like champagne colored it'd be really really pretty for like New Year's Eve these were four dollars so I got these for two dollars it looks like they maybe were sold at like TJ Maxx that looks like the TJ Maxx sticker to me but yeah, barely worn other than that. Maybe never worn, maybe just a little bit. All right, these were the first pair that caught my eye that I actually ran over while I was sorting through the clothes. I was obviously going through the clothes first. Um, then I hit the shoes. I don't know if the other resellers I was mentioning hit up the shoes, which I'm like, they're already pretty cheap compared to normal thrift stores in my area. And they're 50% off. Why would I not hit up the shoes? Look how pretty these are. These are absolutely stunning. They're in such good condition. They've got this like chain. This is real leather. I did check that even though I probably would have bought them anyway. But these are Steve Madden. They've still got like the stuff inside. So these ones might be kind of brand new, but I don't know. They've definitely got a little bit of wear on them. So they'll I would have listed them as excellent pre-owned anyway, but those, they also have that sticker. Are these the same? I wonder if these were the same person because these are an eight and a half and these are an eight. So maybe whoever donated, donated them together. But these were $6. So I got these for $3. Look how pretty. I was actually really hoping they were my size so I could wear them to the office, but they are too big. Okay, next let's go into the medium size bag. I think... I think there's more shoes on the bottom. I don't remember, but things are literally falling out and attacking me. Oh, this one I'm excited about. Okay, so I said their formal wear was an exclusion from the sale entirely, so it was their normal retail price. Um, the winter jackets and gear was not in the 50 cent sale, but was in the 50% off sale, and I found one I'm really excited about. So this one is an Abercrombie down puffer jacket and it's got this nice like faux fur hood there's the big abercrombie label on the inside this was twelve dollars so with the sale it was six dollars and i absolutely bought this and this is absolutely mine <laughs> i tried it on in the store and it fit like a glove like a woman walking by was like that looks so good on you and i was like thank you i needed that affirmation so that is going to be mine for sure, but if not, I absolutely would have bought this to resell. 
Next to resell, I was excited to find on the winter rack. These are a pair of Burton snow pants. Burton, I love selling, especially their snowboarding gear, um, which is what they mostly make. But they also have just some like winter type items. These are a boys size. They're a boys size medium, 10, 12, but that is okay with me. So these were the winter, just 50% off, but they were $10, so $5 for a pair of Burton snow pants is a no brainer to me. These are like the room to grow ones too that you can Velcro up. So as your kid is shorter, you can Velcro them up and then as he grows or she grows, these could certainly be unisex, you can kind of expand them, which is great. Oh, these need to go in the list them right now pile. Oh, I do have some random stuff in here, I forgot. Okay, their hats are normally $1, so they were 50 cents just from being in the 50% off sale. Um, I don't know if there's a market for this, but I decided to try. This, I know that these kind of hats were trending a little bit. There is some fur on them, but I will lint that, de-lint that, of course, because this is an L.L. Bean wool little newsy newsboy hat. So I don't know if this will hit like the Depop crowd from the style or if this will hit the outdoorsy vintage crowd from it being L.L. Bean, I think maybe a vintage tag. So I don't know. We're going to try that. And then I also got this like skateboarding hat. This is a DC 5950 hat. It is fitted, which I knew was going to be a little bit of a tough sell, but I don't know. I couldn't leave it behind. It was in such great condition. I knew it was going to be 50 cents. This one is for my son. Okay, oh, that's why I put these over here. I didn't realize this in the store, but as I got home and was like showing my daughter some of what I got, I realized that all three of these were my size. So I might be getting a whole new summer sandal wardrobe from this haul. These are Circus by Sam Edelman which I do like selling that like diffusion line. It sells pretty well. These were 450 plus the discount. These are Dolce Vita. They were $3 plus the discount. So I got these for $1.50. And these are the main label Dolce Vita. If you see the one that's DV Dolce Vita, those are the target label. So those ones don't sell for quite as much. And then, <clears throat> Also these Sam Edelman black ones. These were 450 plus the discount. So these might all end up being mine for next summer and I'll just clear out some of the sandals I have that I don't wear as much. I am trying to be conscious of if I add something to my wardrobe that I take one thing out just to make sure that I'm not overwhelming my closet and I have more stuff than I need. So the old stuff I'll either resell or donate or pass on to somebody, friend or family or somebody in the neighborhood. Okay, I have not tried Keds before, but I decided to try them today because these are in such great condition and it's a, it's a good time to try it. These are a US size nine and they are a wool blend, which is something I thought would maybe elevate them a little bit. So I don't know how much I'll get for these, maybe only like 20, 25, but I thought it'd be a good time to try them. They were $5, so they were 250. And then I have the mother load of Keens in the kids aisle. So these are a girl's size three, super, super fantastic condition. These were marked up from their normal prices, but at $5, I still definitely purchased those. These are a kids, girls, boys size four. These actually fit me perfectly because that's like a women's size seven. So I thought about keeping them, but I don't know how often I'd have a need to wear them. These were also, $10 to $5 for me. And then I found these pair of baby ones. I am thinking these will be too big for my son. These one, the little, these little size dots on Keens always wear off. So be very careful if you don't want to deal um, to check the inside. I've had that happen to me quite some times. Um, so these have rubbed off, so I know that, but I have another pair, I think that's almost exactly the same size that I'm gonna compare them against with. So these were only 350 plus they were 50% off, but I think they're gonna be too small for my son by next summer. But if not, he'll be able to wear those, bring them to Disney World. I think I might've been saying Disneyland and Disney World interchangeable. Yes, I know they are different. We are going to Walt Disney World in Florida. If I say them interchangeably in all of my videos, 
I am very sorry. Disney people, please forgive me. Okay, next are these little petty pads. I have these two of these brand listed and they haven't sold probably because I had them listed too high. But look how cute these are. I don't know. I think I heard that these could do well. They're only $3.50, so or I'm sorry, they were $3 and I got them for $1.50. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm such a sucker for little baby shoes. Look how cute. These are little Jordan crib shoes. And yeah, these were $2.50. And even being Jordans, I think they could sell for like 20 to 30 even being, I'm sorry, even being little baby kid shoes, being Jordans, I think they could sell for like 20 to 30. The only slight problem, see how this one says Jordan nicely, this one's kind of rubbing off. So that is a little bit of a flaw, obviously, that I will disclose, but I couldn't leave these there. They were too cute. All right, this was a first for me from a bolo perspective. These are Ultra, A-L-T-R-A. Great, great shoes to look out for. I know I've heard Ginger Marvin talking about these. I know I've heard Dealing with Dalton. I think I've seen them on Harry Tornado. If you don't know those three YouTube channels, please go check them out. They are all fantastic. Um, but these are women's size stuff. Ooh, these would fit me, but I don't think I need these. Um, they're kind of known for their like wide toe box right here, as you can see. But these were only, where's the tag? I don't know what these were. The tag must have fallen off. So I'm not sure what they charged me for, but as you can see from the trend, I'm sure I wasn't charged that much for them. These are the strange find of the day. Let me know down in the comments if you have seen these, if you have sold these, or have any experience with them. Like how weird are those? <laughs> these are strength. And they're made for like, I think like basketball players to do like plyo, plyo, plyo. Oh. I wanted to say pyrotechnics, which obviously is playing with fire. Plyometrics, which is like jumping and muscle building. I used to do them a bunch, um, being a runner, jumper, sprinter, and track and field. Uh, but these were $8, so I got them for $4. The sell through on these, when I checked on eBay recently, was over 50%. And they were selling kind of around the $50 mark. There were some higher, there were some lower, but that was kind of a decent average. So for $4, they will be kind of heavy to ship, but that is okay. We can certainly deal with that. All right, guys, if you are still with me, we are on our last giant big bag. And I think my favorite finds of the day are right on top. So let's find out. Yes, they are. I'm so excited. Okay. I know I keep saying that I thought the other resellers like took all the really good stuff. I was still really happy about all the bread and butter stuff for 50% or 50 cents or 50%. Certainly not complaining, but I hadn't really found any like bangers or big hits yet. Till I found this. I found this with the sweaters and I was like, oh yes, this is icebreaker merino wool, like a big slouchy open front cardigan sweater. This performance merino wool is such a good category. Here's that logo. But I have never found icebreaker before. I mean, they had this for $5 on a normal day and I got this for 50 cents. This should sell for over $50. I should think easily, especially being such a substantial icebreaker piece. So I was so, so, so excited to find that. Fast forward like 10 or 15 minutes and I was going through the women's tops. I found another and another and another and I think another. N like not like all right together, but in the same like foot to two feet of closet or hanger space. I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And I was like trying to go fast because there are other people in the rack and I was trying to get as many as I could. I think I got them all. Um, but here is another one. This is a short sleeve button down, like a great nice hiking shirt. So another icebreaker. These are a size women's medium. The other one was a size small. So these have got to have all been donated from the same person that just has the most amazing wardrobe. Next was this like full zip little jacket. It just needs to be like pulled through, but the drawstring is there on both sides. So this was a icebreaker medium. Like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. That was 450 initially. 
then here is just a long sleeve, like a really good base layer. If you're ever listing merino wool, um, base layer is a really good keyword to use. Here's that one, women's size medium, body fit 260. So I've got to research all of these and figure out what I'm listing them for, but I have a really good feeling about all of these. And then this was with it. It is not icebreaker, but it is also merino wool by Paradox. I just grabbed it in the store. I was like, if it is with all these icebreaker, it's got to be great quality. And at 50 cents, there's like no risk there. So when I got it home, I think it'll sell a little less than all the rest of them, but still really, really great. So I'm excited to experiment with Paradox. So these five things and that Nation LTD, like super made my day. I was so, so, so excited for those and then I was looking to find a winter hat for my son because he's outgrowing his and I saw this little tag just chilling with all the little hats or the little logo can you see what that is that is smart wool so I'm wondering if whoever donated this had a son and she donated his hat because they just make sense together so this is just a little beanie it is definitely a kid's beanie but yeah keep an eye out for that little guy and this is a reversible. So it probably would fit my son. Oh yeah, there he is. This probably would fit my son, but he's gonna get the like 50 cent little Carter's one or whatever this is. And this one's gonna be sold. So when he loses it, which will probably happen at daycare, it won't be that big of a problem. All right, this, I was just trying to find at least a couple men's things. So I would have men's things to list. So I grabbed this Kenneth Cole. Um, this isn't gonna get me too much, but maybe $20, 25 on a really, really good day, but for 50 cents, again, it's just a really nice, I thought it might fit my husband, but I mostly thought it was gonna be too short on his sleeves. It's a 15 and a half, 32, 34, he's like a 34, 35, so I, it's not gonna fit him, but I would've purchased it anyway to resell. This was fun, they separate some of their pajama bottoms like some of them were together and then some of them this was on the pants and this was on the tops on the pajama rack and I was able to match them back up rescue them soulmates need to be put back together and this is just a pair of or a pajama set from Brooks Brothers it is 100% cotton I did look these up just to be sure but Brooks Brothers is a very very high-end um, store I don't always pick things up to resell but I wanted to try these because these ones were sold separately the little kids ones were marked together that I bought so those were only 50 cents so I have a dollar investment man big spender into these pajamas but I think this set could sell between like 30 and 50 hopefully okay a couple more men's pieces that I did grab um, this is BKE which was sold at buckle I'm not sure if it's sold at other places but I feel like this might be like a good Depop item because look how graphic it is on the back and it's like this slubbed cotton like gauzy type material and then this one was right next to it and this is also buckle black label this one is an extra large what was this one that's an also an extra large so clearly from the same person but Small graphic on the front, but super large graphic on the back, which is pretty cool. Whenever I take photos like this, I put the front as the main photo, and then I overlay a small square in the corner with the back, so people can also see if they're just looking at the main listing photo, they can see the front and the back. I don't know if that helps sell things, but I've sold things pretty successfully doing that. Okay, sorry, super random, but these are new with tags. I did not buy used underwear but they are just some cute little Nautica undies that I got for myself. We'll still wash them before we wear them. This I just grabbed because I love how pretty this is. This like periwinkle color almost. It's like blue in some lights, it's like violet in some lights, and it's got this like crushed velvet. But this was Loft, which I don't often pick up, but it was new with tags. So that's why I decided to grab it. It doesn't have a retail price on this tag, but I thought this will be another one that will be great for like spring, kind of transitioning from fall into spring. 
This is another one for me, but honestly, I might have gotten this to sell anyway, and I might sell it eventually. Look how pretty this little tiered ruffle cotton dress is. I love the back, how open. This is American Eagle, their newer tag. This will definitely probably get worn to Disney World on one of our days. I'll just wear some compression shorts under it for modesty if we're on any of the rides, of course, but super breathable. That is for me. This, I don't know if I should have picked up. It was 50 cents and it was hard for me to leave it behind because look how cute this is. For spring, I need to stop saying for spring because we're still in winter, but I'm thinking ahead. This is a Princess Polly and it's new with tags. I might not have grabbed it if it hadn't been new with tags, but yeah, I think it's cute. It's got like this like Asian muted print on it if that's coming off at all on camera. All right, this one is for my daughter. It's just a little cardigan for all the little dresses she wears to church in summer. Yeah, so I found quite a bit for my family, which was nice. This is children's place for my daughter. She'll probably get that for Christmas. I thought that'd be really cute for like Valentine's Day. <clears throat> this one I kind of went back and forth on, but I did end up grabbing it. This is Eddie Bauer and it's a size extra small, which is why I was considering. I do like selling these athleisure type dresses and Eddie Bauer is no exception to that. I do like selling Eddie Bauer when I can get it for kind of a low cost of goods. I think it just sells better in the larger sizes, but I wanted to have that as well. I wanna stock all sizes, including the smaller sizes in my closet for sure. All right, this was a cool one. I don't really know the value yet. Maybe there's no value. Maybe it's like a million dollars. I don't know, because I haven't looked it up, but I knew it was worth 50 cents. This is a denim vest and it says Tommy Hilfiger on the side, and it's from the Olympic Games collection by Terry, Atlanta, 1996. So definitely vintage. So I figured this hits the vintage people, this hits the Tommy Hilfiger people, this hits the Olympic people, and yeah, that will probably sell on eBay, I would think. All right, another one for my son. This is just a little Oshkosh lightweight like rain jacket, which will be good for spring. Last time I was there, I got a whole bunch of workwear pants from like Beta Brand and Torrid and Lane Bryant. I think I only found a couple this time, but these are Talbot size 10 and these are a wool classic trouser pant, which these trouser pants, just these classic professional styles have been doing really well for me recently, actually. All right, two things for my son. Look at that, how perfect is that for Disney? I'm sorry, the sun is coming through the window now. But it says beach ready, hashtag never ending summer Mickey Mouse. And then this is just little sharks. I like the little, I don't find the boys tank tops that much. And so when I do find them, I like to grab them. All right, this has got to hit like the Depop girlies. It's hard to show, but it like, that's not gonna work. I was gonna try to show you guys, but I don't wanna unbutton it. It is a halter collared. Like look how preppy, like academia that is. It's got a shelf bra in it, and this is vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren. This could actually like be good for like golfers, or it could be like the 90s trend girlies wearing this to a festival or something. So I'm not sure who will end up buying that. It could go either way. All right, this one I did not look up because I figured if I look it up and it's not worth selling, I'll just keep it for my daughter. Um, but it's American Girl clothing, which American Girl dolls and things are very collectible. I had them growing up. I'm now passing them on to my daughter. But it's a medium size 1012, so if I don't want to sell it or it doesn't sell, she can wear it in a couple years. But it's just this little duster, which I know is not super on trend right now, but I wanted to try it. I haven't found... American Girl clothing. Obviously, I, I should have said this. This is not for a doll. This is for a human. But American Girl, somewhere along the way, started making human clothes. You could kind of like match with your doll. And they expanded their line hugely into the little girl kind of clothing market also. All right. These are Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I think. These are Victoria's Sport, which is Victoria's Secret kind of athletic line. 
and they're a really nice pair of joggers. I liked that they have a zip bottom because then if you're wearing like tennis shoes, you can put them on over your shoes if you're at the gym and need to go home and you don't have to take your sneakers off before putting these on. They also have this really cool like detailing right there. I'm not even sure like what to call that other than that I thought it looked like a cool finish. This was one that maybe I should have passed on. I'm not too sure. I went back and forth, but because of the print, I decided to grab that. I just thought it was so cool and festive and bohemian and that it would photograph really, really nicely. It's like floral. It's also sheer, semi-sheer, which is absolutely trending. And this is another BKE. It's gimmicks by BKE. So I don't know. I think I can pull like $20 off of that. I need to look that up. I think BKE was always sold at Buckle, but I might be misremembering that. So I need to research that a little bit better. All right, here's a brand I do like picking up at like Bin's Prices, which is absolutely where we're at today. It's a Pearl Izumi small bike shirt. So just a nice white pink. And you've got the water bottle pockets in the back. Activewear should, in theory, start picking up after the new year because people make all their New Year's resolutions. And then in springtime is, I find, to be one of the best cycling times for selling clothes because a lot of people are getting their bikes back out after kind of winter, especially in areas that get really snowy and it's hard to, to bike outside. Um, here's one that I could probably have left behind. It's just pretty basic. I did leave a lot of Columbia basics behind, but I liked this one. It was a size small Columbia just pullover for women. Probably can get $10, $15 over on eBay for that. I love selling Piranha. This is Piranha and it's just like a high-low asymmetric hemline shirt, but it is so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. It is a size small, so I don't know if I'll have an occasion or reason to wear that, but another really great one for springtime. Here's some Juicy Couture, hoping the Depop girlies might want this. I don't think I've picked up Juicy Couture. If you can find the like velour track suits, obviously that's gonna be the big banger from Juicy Couture. But again, I like to experiment when things are only 50 cents. So I'm gonna experiment with this one, see if anybody wants to buy this look all retro it is a size large we're getting there guys we're like about halfway through this bag all right these i thought were so cool especially like trousers and career wear and minimalist in this kind of subdued color packet is very very in trend right now look how pretty this like wide plaid window pane print is and these are just Talbots and they're that older Talbots tag again but again like it's just they're beautiful this is a size six and they are a wool blend pant and these apparently were sold at a, at a consignment store at one point for $32 and I like how they do it because if it didn't sell by the 13th they were then $24 the 28th was $16 and after the 13th was $8 so it's like you have a heads up of what the price will be if they don't sell, which I thought was kind of fun. Maybe consignment stores do that. I just don't shop consignment all that often. I need to start doing it more. But thrift stores are closer to me than consignment stores where I live. All right, here is Calvin Klein. I said I like selling Calvin Klein women's. It's a size medium. And it's just a really nice, like, open front cardigan. But it's a stretch. It's not, it, it is a knit, but it's not like a warm knit. It's like a polyester knit, if that makes any sense. Yeah, polyester spandex blend. I'll probably wear that to the office first before I list it. This was one that I did kind of try to research in store. I just wasn't finding much. This is Jonathan Saunders, which is a high-end designer, but it is the For Target label. So I thought about leaving it. I ended up bringing it just because some of the For Target stuff was selling. There's some collabs that sell well and some collabs that don't. This one looked mixed. So at 50 cents, I decided to grab it it is super, super soft. It feels like linen. I think it's just cotton, super lightweight. And I, again, might be able to wear that to the office. Here's my one Chico's thing. I think a size one is a medium, maybe small, medium. I don't know. It looks small enough that I might be able to wear this to the office once too. So we're going to see, but I love the print and the color. It's like a lavender almost purple. 
Here's a Michael Michael Kors, which I leave behind at the thrift all the time, but at 50 cents for a 2X and a nice fun graphic print, I decided to grab this one because I have sold Michael Michael Kors, especially if you can find like outerwear, longer dresses, things that are more substantial. I know we say that all the time. I say that all the time, but it is really true. I like selling college sports stuff. College football is ongoing. Um, the championships are coming up in a couple weeks at the time of filming. Actually, they have quite a bit of a break. They're around like the New Year's time frame. So probably after this video gets published. But this is just a Florida Gators little tank top. It is a size medium from Sideline Apparel. <clears throat> oh, speaking of sports, not college sports. This is a little Baltimore Orioles top for my daughter. Um, we do live in the Baltimore, Maryland kind of area. This is genuine merchandise from them and her school, she has school uniforms, but they often do like dress down days. And one of the days is usually like a regional sports day. So she doesn't really usually have much to wear for that because she has so much Ohio State stuff because we love Ohio State football, that's where we're from. Since she can't wear that, it's not a local sports team. So I picked her up an Orioles thing. We also, I mean, we watch the Orioles. She likes them. She likes the Ravens a little bit. But hopefully we'll go to a baseball game and she can wear that also. Because we haven't been to a baseball game there with the kids yet. My husband and I have gone by ourselves. We've been taking them to some like minor league games to kind of slow roll them in. So they can learn how to sit in one spot long enough. All right, this is a golf brand I really like selling. This is Slazinger, if you're not familiar with it. It's never gonna sell for like more than 15 to 25, at least in the tops, but it does always sell for me. So this is a size medium. Again, after winter into spring is absolutely when golf stuff st starts selling, just like the cycling stuff. Here's another pair of trousers, but I wasn't expecting these to be what they were. These are not your daughter's jeans and they are a size eight. So I picked up Not Your Daughter's Jeans at the last Dollar Day haul that I posted from this store. And to be honest, I haven't posted and listed them yet. They're still in my death pile. So I need to do those. So I have not listed and or sold Not Your Daughter's Jeans, but we're gonna try out a pair of these. Like they're really soft stretch, like almost ponty knit fabric. Here's another men's one. This was one I actually took off. They have a couple mannequins hanging around the store and I always check them because people don't tend to check them and they are for sale. And I always feel bad anytime I'm like undressing the mannequin and leaving them there like naked. I always want to like put another shirt on but I don't have time. So I know someone will come behind me and do that but I always feel bad. So here's Uniqlo, size medium. At 50 cents, I will pick up Uniqlo. It always, my sell through rate on Uniqlo is usually around like 100% in the first 90 days. I'm not sure the material on that one yet. I need to look at it better. Here's another great one. I didn't realize how much Talbots I picked up and how much of the old tag Talbots, but I think that'll be okay. This is a petite size six, but it's a really nice blazer jacket again. I really like selling blazers. This does feel like wool. Yes, this is 96% wool, so that's a really great wool blend nice black classic blazer jacket here is more calvin klein this is calvin klein performance that might not come through but just this like fleeced hooded vest really great condition i did check this over for spots or whatever because don't you hate getting white stuff home and looking at it and there's just yellow all over so i try to be really good about that we are getting towards the end of this one guys i know you have stuck around this is a kid's sweatshirt, but I decided to buy it to resell because it is Zara boys, size 11, 12, and Zara stuff in kids has done historically really well for me. Again, it's gonna sell lower, $20 or so, but it always sells. I really like it. Here's another J. Crew piece. I was trying to buy things that I might be able to wear to the office first and then sell. This is J. Crew Factory in a size medium but i thought it was nice and classic it'd be really great under like a blazer in the fall and winter or you could wear it by itself in spring probably not summer it is like a, a knit but you could i mean my office is always freezing so this is a brand i want to say it's a stitch fix brand but it's skies are blue 
This is a size extra large. And when I have listed this, it has always sold. Again, around that $20 mark. But if I find it at the bins or, you know, a sale like this, I absolutely will try to get that. Oh, where did that blazer needs to go in my list quickly pile? This one, I haven't, I don't think, purchased Coldwater Creek before. Maybe one thing. But this is Coldwater Creek. It is an extra small size four, so I might be able to wear it to work a few times too. But I want to say this is wool. This is not wool. It's just beautiful and substantial. And for 50 cents, I decided to grab it. That was not the winter item. So it was included in the 50 cent sale. I would not have purchased that if it weren't 50 cents. Here is a women's Zara size large one of their older labels but i've sold that tag before and this looked so like free people urban outfitter-esque it's got the drop shoulder it is a super super comfy slouchy knit i wish this were smaller i might keep it for myself because it feels like something you could just kind of live in at home all right speaking of free people this does not have a material tag in it I'm sorry, this does not have a main label tag in it, but somehow the material tag kind of caught my eye and I looked at it because it looked familiar and I recognized, yes, this is absolutely what the free people tag looks like, but I confirmed on the back the 66170 RN number on it. So this could be Urban Outfitters, it could be free people, it's got the OB number. So I'm gonna try to look it up, although a quick search in the store I wasn't able to find anything, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit more research to figure that out. But at 50 cents, it seemed like a no-brainer that I'll figure it out one way or another. It is a size 10. Here is a pair of trousers that I was hoping were gonna be mine to keep, but I just didn't love the way they fit. They were a little too on the short ankle side for me. So I'm gonna list them instead. They are called the Slim Ankle by White House Black Market. So I don't pick that up all the time, but I have sold it successfully and these are a really nice pair of stretch like ponte knit pants. They're in absolutely excellent condition. So I was sad I didn't like those better, but that's okay. All right, another thing that I think the other resellers missed. This looked really nice. <laughs> so I investigated and yes, indeed, this is Lululemon. Ah! If I can even show you guys the little Lululemon dot right there. I don't know what size it is. I didn't see a hidden size dot in it, but I'm gonna try it on um, and measure and get all those things deduced. But really, really nice sports bra from Lulu. And then next to it, there was another sports bra that I had been like trying to see but there wasn't a tag inside, so I kept moving on. I was like, well, if that one's Lulu, let me go back and check the other one because maybe I missed the Lulu dot. I didn't miss the Lulu dot, but I did miss the Fabletics logo right there. So I decided to grab this one too. I do like selling Fabletics at 50 cents. We're definitely going to grab it. This was only initially marked at $3. The Lulu was only $4, so I absolutely would have bought that full price if I had needed to. All right, more of this Talbot's old label. I am just giving Talbot's the comeback of the century with this haul, but it is a size 2X. It's in like this, again, like slub cotton. I love this stripe. This would be absolutely perfect, even as like a beach cover up for like a summer vacation. This is mostly cotton, cotton polyester blend. I think someone's gonna love that come spring, summertime. All right, we are down to our last couple items, guys. We made it. All right, first were these American Eagle jeans. I also picked these up with the intention to be for myself, but I didn't like them. They were also just a little too short for me. So that is the new American Eagle label. So I knew that if I didn't like them, I could sell them. But they are a size zero, which I know is a little bit of a tough sell. And they're a size zero short, which is why I didn't end up liking them. Some people like them short, or obviously there's petite people that need the short size. I am just not one of those people. So I probably should have known better but hopefully these will still sell. I usually list American Eagle denim around like $28 and hope to sell it around like 20 to 25. 
Another little sports bra, this is Calvin Klein, and these little Calvin Klein ones can do well for a lower dollar, but they will sell. However, this is my size, so I'm gonna go take stock of what I already have for sports bras and see if I need more or if there's one I can get rid of and replace it with this one. So that's an unknown if that's gonna be listed or not. Another little sports bra here. This one is Victoria Sport again, and this is a size small. So same thing, some of these might get listed, some of them I might keep, I'm not terribly sure quite yet. And then last thing is, I would not usually pick up Pretty Little Thing, but I did pick it up this time because it was new with tags. And guys, I'm struggling to even figure out how to show you this. This is a new with tags swimsuit but it's all messed up right now. So I'm gonna have to like untangle this and hopefully look at a stock photo to see how this goes. But this is definitely the bottom. And then it's definitely got a lot of cutouts here. I think that's as good as it'll get. So these cross, crisscross in the front, crisscrosses in the back. It is a one piece, but it's got all kinds of strappies and body cutouts and whatnot. So for 50 cents, new with tags, I decided to try that crazy Thing and hopefully I can figure it out and get it listed and get it sold. All right, guys, that is all of my things. Let's just do a receipt recap in case anybody is curious. So I spent in total $112.89 for everything that you saw, including all of the shoes and all of the stuff for my family. And I am absolutely thrilled with that. So for my cost of goods, all the stuff I got for 50 cents, I'm going to put it in my inventory as a 50 cent cost of goods. And then all of the shoes and extras that I bought, I will average those out for an average cost of goods for all the rest. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me again. I do have that bins video coming of a thrift with me plus a haul, so keep an eye out for that. I'm also planning to film a what sold video in the next couple days from last week's sales, so that should be posted hopefully soon to the channel or maybe even before this one. I'm not quite sure how it's going to all play out. It is the beginning of December. I put up my Christmas tree yesterday, so I hope everyone is enjoying that as much as I am. If you celebrate or any other holidays you might be celebrating, I just love this time of year. I can't wait for it to snow. I know. Yes, I'm one of those people. But this video is already entirely too long, so I hope you're having an amazing night, weekend, Saturday, Sunday, morning, or whatever time it is for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you stuck around for this entire video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!